I thought it would be fun today to just show you a little bit how I master a chip tune. So this is a chip tune by a friend Skittles Beats and it is a Delta Rune remix and I'm just going to walk you through like super duper quick what I would do to master this chip tune. So it's ready to post on iTunes, send it out to DistroKid or whatever. So let's take a listen. First thing I always do is put a limiter on. You just do that first, get it loud. So here comes the volume. All right, so we're just using the limiter just a little bit. I got a preset I like. All right, so this is a mono chip tune, uh, so there's no stereo info, and there's a really cool plugin that lets you add this illusion of stereoness by a company called Isotope. Check it out, it has this feature called Stereo Eyes, which I can use to make it. I'll crank it up, you can hear. This effect's really easy to hear in headphones. And just giving a little bit of depth can make it sound a lot more exciting without changing anything about the mix or the music. And I'm not making the bottom wide, I'm keeping the bass mono. Limiter still looks good. What a nice chip tune. Now let's look at the EQ spectrum. See if there's anything that needs addressing. It's a pretty balanced track, so I don't think we can, uh, we need to do too much. I'm gonna try cutting off a little bit of the low end. Sometimes this makes the, the bass kind of weird, so if it sounds weird, we're not gonna do it. Sounds fine. Oh yeah, a little bit. All right, to make up for the little bit of weird dipping, I'm gonna give a little boost. Right around 60 hertz. Hey, we could use a little more than that. Actually, see the bass is really hanging around around 80. If this was recorded on a Game Boy, Game Boy has a little noisy buzz at 9,250 hertz. And that's like the frequency of the batteries, the AA batteries or something, so it buzzes. So let me just make this into a notch. And uh, if this was not recorded on hardware, this isn't gonna help. If this was recorded on a Game Boy, then make it cleaner. I don't think this was recorded on hardware. This sounds good without it. If you recorded an actual DMG Game Boy though, this filter is really nice. All right, so this is a little bit of a cheat, but I like it. It's not totally pure chip tune, but uh, I like to put an expander on the low end. So when the kick is not hitting, the bass kind of comes up a little bit. So you can see it ducking. So it just gives a little bit more movement and dynamics in the bass. Makes it a little bigger too. This is nice, giving a little bit of uh, movement in the high end too. And after every new plugin, I check the limiter to make sure it's not going too hard. This is sounding real nice. Burp. <laughs> that ending. Two, three. I usually like mentally count in my head to four after a song ends, and so I have like one measure of silence at the end, and then I think it's a good place to stop. Two, three, four, and there's the cut. All right, let's listen one more time. So we haven't done a whole lot. We've made it stereo with ozone, added a little dynamics to the bass and also to the mid-range. Uh, we boosted it with a, just a little bit, around 80 hertz for the low end and cut off a little bit of the chiptune rumble. And then we're limiting it 
with the Fab Filter Pro L. So there's one more thing that we can do, uh, add a little bit of harmonic excitement to it, and that might just sort of thicken up the sound and make it sound 100%. Because similar to how we did the stereo stuff, we can pick all four bands and decide how much harmonics we want. See, it adds a nice, like, full richness. I'm going an overkill over here. The oversampling button gives us higher quality sound with um, more CPU use. I think it's worth it. Ooh, no. And you know what I do? recently I think it's really cute I put a little bit of tape distortion just on the high end I think it's got like just a real sweet classic kind of sound that's a little intense Let's move it down. so uh, here I'll bypass it you can hear it without the exciter just a little thinner without it <laughs> the ending is so cute. Oh my goodness. It's funk. It's very, it's very Undertale. Very Delta Rune. And I have this analyzer I use sometime. Oh my gosh, my mouse died. Oh boy. Oh gosh, I need to find a cable really quick. Hold on, hold on. Sorry guys, just give me a second. All right, I'm back, I'm back, I got one. Um, well, you know, that's kind of funny because we're pretty much done. Oh, we were gonna analyze it. Um, let's see how it stacks up to today's pop hits. And not that bad, actually. Up, 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 yeah! Ah, uh, let's give it a little, I don't know if we need this, here. Here's just a nice thing. Sometimes I give a little booster on 6K. This was taught to me by fellow chip tuner Smiletron. He was like, 6K, there's not a lot in there, so it's a nice place to boost. Gotta make sure we don't get the ouchy frequencies though. This track is in good shape though. This area gets just a little tight, so I'm gonna put a dynamic EQ band on it to keep it under control. That's how you master a chip tune. Let's look at all the plugins. I'll bring all the plugins up on screen. All plugins, plugins, report to the stage for your applause ceremony or what have you. So there we go. Just let's let's go over view this big old mess. So we're gonna make it stereo with the imager. We're gonna do some dynamics with the multiband. We're gonna add some harmonics. Then we're gonna EQ it, and then we're gonna run it through the final limiter. And that's how you master a chip tune according to me today. <laughs> Ba 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 beep beep boop 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 chip tune chip tune chip tune I just love chip tunes It's so good to love chip Tune. Chip tune's very nice. I chip tune every day. I click all of the buttons and make it sound so good. And then I go away. Hey, 